breaking. Boko Haram terrorist Dear Buari government mount security checkpoints on Bono highways. Boko Haram terrorist Dear Buari government mount security checkpoints on Bono highways. So my dear listeners, Nigerian government is becoming a big joke. Why will Boko Haram in a country that has law Mount security checkpoint on Bono Airways, and ever since they've done that, what are, what is our security agent are doing? Stay tuned and let's see what this news is all about. Areas where the checkpoints were mounted by the terror group include Mararaban, Kimba, Amobulin, Wajiroko, Gada, and Sabongari, all located along Dambua B Road. Militant from the Islamic State-backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West African Province, Iswab, formerly known as Jamaat, Hal as Sunnah, Lit Dawa, Wajahid, have mounted roadblocks in some part of Bonut State. Areas where the checkpoints were mounted by the terror group include Mararaban Kimba, Amubulin, Wajiroko Gada, and Sabongari. Or located along Dambua Bureau Road, one of the sources said, The insurgents have been checking on travelers' IDs to fish out security operatives traveling in Mufti, which is daring considering how much effort the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari said it had put into ensuring security in the Northeast. Iswap, which split from the mainstream Boko Haram in 2016, has become a dominant group focusing on military targets and high-profile attacks, including against aid workers. Since the death of JAS leader Abubakar Shekau, the group has been consolidating its grips in locations around Lake Chad. Just recently, it appointed Wali Sonny Shiwaram, a 45-year-old, as the new leader Wali of Iswap in Lake Chad. The sect's membership are swollen with the defection of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters under Shekau. The Nigerian army has repeatedly claimed that its urgency had been largely defeated and frequently underplaced any losses. In the past month, soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents who lay ambush on their part. Hundreds of soldiers and officers have been reportedly killed since January 2021. Militant from the Islamic State-backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West Africa Province, Iswab, formerly known as Jamaat, Hal as Sunnah lead Dawa Wal Jihad, have mounted roadblocks in some parts of Bonut State. Areas where the checkpoints were mounted by the terror group include Mararaban Kimba, Amobulin, Wajiroko Gada, and Sabongari all located along Dambua Bureau Road, one of the sources said. The insurgents have been attacking on travelers' IDs to fish out security operatives traveling in Mufti, which is daring considering how much effort the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari said it had put into ensuring security in the Northeast. Iswap, which split from the mainstream Boko Haram in 2016, has become a dominant group, focusing on military targets and high-profile attacks, including against aid workers. Since the death of JAS, JAS leader Abubakar Shekau, the group has been consolidating its grip in locations around Lake Chad. Just recently, it appointed Wali Sonny Shuwaram, a 45-year-old, as the new leader, Wali of Iswap in Lake Chad. The sect membership has swollen with the defection of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters under Shekau. The Nigerian army has repeatedly claimed that insurgency had been largely defeated and frequently underplaced any losses. In the past months, soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents who lay ambush on their path. Hundreds of soldiers and officers have been reportedly killed since January 2021. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. 
let's move to the comment section and let's see what people are saying the first comment which i have says is good development they should extend the checking points to other states around it is only bono state now but they should extend it to shokoto kano zamfara kb yubi Kasina, bachi state etc another comment which i have says no to tell you how the federal government so much loves the southeast more than all other nigerians if this was happening in the southeast the federal government would have unleashed all the military asna upon that community raced down and burned everything within that location the people of the southeast are short of words to express their sincere gratitude to this government god bless you real good the comments to here says i will not take their siege in bonu state serious until they condone of the entire casino state starting from daura they know that they know what they are doing bonu state is part of the unfortunate collateral damages some people just have to die for others to survive and the last comment which i have says we have tactically defeated they have been technically degraded the remnant scrambled sect lie muhammad kudos to my dear listeners what i would love to say about today's news do not let us forget i think it was um it was abacha that said any insurgency that surpass than 24 hours as the end of the government now let's let's take for example is it too much for the government to do to attack these people and apprehend them all even without even even without any 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 soldiers or police being killed without anybody reportedly being killed is it too much for them to do no because we have trained and gallant soldiers in the country but this thing it's actually this is more glaring that our government had hands in what is happening in the country which is more glaring to us all we are not slaves and we are not gullible we can't believe them this government is this government has filled us if it is is in other states they would have declared the state of emergency but now this is happening and there they are, they were there and no security agent or any 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 team has not been sent there if this if it is in other states they would have formed they would have formed a, a, a different operations of names yet people are people at the highway checking id cards if so if there's officers that is that is traveling in mufti they would kill the person how long do we need to continue and watch them doing this to us to my dear listeners please do drop by the comment section express your mind and let's see what your view is all about thank you